the things that got me really interested in the political sphere were things like the Australia's treatment of asylum seekers, Australia's treatment of Indigenous peoples. And I guess part of that is informed by the fact that my mum has been a teacher in a long time in, for a long time in remote Aboriginal communities. And my dad is a Tamil migrant, so he came over here just when the Civil War was starting up back in the 80s. Yeah, big time. So I went into law going, I want to be a human rights lawyer, I'm going to save the world. And after a few years of law school, I realised that the way the system is set up, if you're working on the ground in that sort of field as a lawyer, you're constrained by a whole bunch of, I guess, unfair or unjust systems and regulations and power hierarchies. So I love slam poetry because it's really direct as a communication mode. You can just say to people, here, this is what I'm thinking, and you package in a way, in a, package it in a way that's, I guess, more accessible to people, but you get your message across without much ambiguity. It's not an accurate representation of a healthy democracy. It might be an accurate representation of what we have at the moment. And this, is, this certainly predates the current government, but we have a political culture that is very shallow. It's often just, I don't know, our policy is better because we say it is, and you're idiots because we say you are, and there's just this snarky negativity. People aren't spending the time on the detail, and journalists and the general public don't have time to get their head around all the complex issues that are being discussed everything just devolves back into slogans and that's not healthy for democracy at all. Well, the, the Vlad laws were a bad idea. I think most people see that now. If they really needed all these extra powers just to prosecute crimes that are already occurring, then something's wrong there. The amount of discretion and power that's granted to the executive to say, oh, you now count as a criminal organisation and, oh, yeah, 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 you, you can't associate with those people because we say so. That's, that's not how you make good laws.